Hey guys, welcome on the garage side of my channel. Today I'm going to show you where is the auxiliary battery in Mercedes uh, on Mercedes uh, C Class W204. This one is 250 CDI and it is in the boot. So under this black cover, it is responsible for holding memory. It's a it is a support for the main battery. So let's say if your start stop was working, so you stopped on traffic lights, um, the power will be coming from this to sustain the radio and all of the functions in the car. So let's say you're changing the main battery um, and um, you disconnect it all of the memory, all of the kind of history of uh, your like a radio and obviously service and everything is going to be sustained through this battery. So we're going to just test it today and see if this one is faulty. Right, so first of all, I will take this out because it will be much, much easier without the spare wheel. You just literally twist it like that. So now you can take the spare wheel out. At least it has a spare wheel there. Uh, some of them, obviously, they have the repair kit. So now you can see much better. So there is a couple clips in here. So this one, this one, and this one. They just literally need to lift it up with a flat screwdriver. A lovely tool that actually may be easier to. There we go. Two, three. And now we can take this out. And there it is. So let's have a look what we got here. 12 volts. It will be an AGM battery. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'll take the clip that is securing it. And to be able to test it, I'll have to take off the connections because um, it will, if I'm testing it, it still kind of sustains the power from the main battery, so it is not accurate. So I want to just check if this battery is okay. Um, so I will have to just unplug those. Right, okay guys, so I've got 10 mil. Right, this is actually coming off quite easily. Right, what I want to do, I want to wrap it up in something to not short it. So one here. around as well because I don't want to short it yet again now the question is how powerful is this one I am pretty sure it should be either 170 or 200 so I will need to take off this just to double double check it's a 10 mil socket taking off Then I can open this protective cover. Terminals are still secure. Let's hold that. Right, this one is 200 amps, so 200 uh, EN. I'm using Ansel BSC 100. So one and two. Ansel is lifting up. Okay, right, so we're going to do a battery test. It is an AGM, AGM flat plate. We're going to go with EN and we need to drop it to 200 amperes. Right, and let's give it a good old test. Alright, so it's fully charged, uh, it is healthy battery, so it's 71% of health in there, and it is rated 200, good battery, yeah, so this one is absolutely fine, it still has some life in it, I trust it hasn't been changed since the, uh, it left the production, because uh, it looks like, like an original one, yeah, it's the Mercedes one, so uh, yeah, there's still plenty of life, so we need to change the main battery because that's quite low, but it's always worth checking if this if this one is dying, so uh, it's not going to be sustaining all of the um, vital functions of the car. 
so yeah that's amazing so that's that's how you do it so really recommend this small device it really helps to test the battery i don't know how accurate it is however it can't be much off um but it is very very useful to have one because it's it you know you, you never know when you might need it and you never know where to change the when to change the battery so it can just tell you roughly how healthy your battery is so thanks for watching until next one bye